hello subscribers welcome to my youtube channel i am back with a new video today i will let you know one amazing function that will be very helpful in your daily work so let's get started so hope you all are using this simple scenario that is the simple function that is vlookup function vlookup function so here you can see we have student and the score i just want to find out score of this student that is raj so how we can use that how we can use vlookup in this scenario we can use is equal to vlookup and we can select the lookup value that is this raj and the table array we can select the, so this is the table array then comma what is the column index number we, we can simply give here the second index number because the score is present on second column and we can use zero for exact match even we can use false here that is fine both are correct so we are getting this 82 because raj score is 82 or even i can change the name here if i will type here tara i will get score of tara so all are using this vlookup function that is fine now in today's class in today's session i'm going to showcase you how we can use filter function that is very useful if you have different scenarios in your daily work and you want to make it dynamic you can use filter function so let's see how we can use that so here what is the scenario we have the same example student and score and then what i have to find out i have to find out the names and the score of the student if score is greater than 80 i want to filter all these values or the names and the score if score is greater than 80 so we can apply here filter function we can simply select the array that i want in return so i want in return this full array then comma what is the include part so this 80 is present in which column so we will select that column in this include part so this is the column where that 80 i just want to search so now i want greater than 80 so i will use greater than sign and i will select this cell where this 80 i have already typed if i close the bracket i will get all the values all the score or all the student name if score is greater than 80 so what is the benefit of using this filter function even i can change here this cell to 90 i will get the values related to 90 so it is just like a search search cell even if i will type here 70 i will get all the values like this and if i will type here 85 like this i will get so this is how you can make it search box or search cell by using this simple function that is filter function so let me showcase you more example related to filter function so now we have the second scenario related to filter function what is the scenario so here you can see we have product category and stocks i just want to find out if the stock is zero, I want to reflect that product and category in this range. So how we can reflect that? We can use is equal to filter. So array, what we have to select? We have to select this full array that I want in return. And the include part is what? Where that zeros are present. So this zero is present in this stock column. So we will select this stock column and we can use is equal to zero and close the bracket and now we are getting all the products name if the stock is zero so this is how we can use this filter function now i'm just moving to the next scenario that we have so here you can see we have i this name name of the employee the department and salary and i just want to reflect here if it department we have in this cell i want to reflect here it department name department and salary if i will type here finance I will get finance entries so how we can use that we can simply use filter function in this scenario also what i have selected here this array array is what the full full range i have selected again i will just showcase you is equal to filter then array you can select this whole range then what is the include part where this finance is present so finance range is this department column then we can use is equal to and we can select this Cell. If I will close the bracket, I will get entries related to finance. So this is how we can use this filter function in our daily work. If you like this video, don't forget to share this video. And also if you want to do practice for this filter function, you can download this practice sheet from description. Thank you so much for watching this video.